What is up, Job Squad? How you guys doing? Welcome back to another episode of Universe Mode, episode number 31, baby. We're moving along here. We're getting right along uh, the calendar. Where's the calendar at? I think this is the go home. This is the go home show. Let's send it home, baby. Let's send it home to Clash of Champions. It's going to be one hell of event. One hell of an event. We've got The Undertaker versus Adam Cole already booked. Triple H versus AJ Styles. We've got some matches from SmackDown, or from Velocity, my bad. Almost said SmackDown. I think I did actually finish saying SmackDown. What is our power rankings looking like? I'm very curious here. Oh, we got Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn at the top of the list. Tag Team Champions. Ziggler's up there for some reason. I don't like Drew McIntyre. Time to take him out. They're, they're a team. Okay, Bobby Fish is up there. Undertaker up there. Show everyone what I'm made of. He's he's feuding with Adam Cole, who uh, is not even in the top 15, apparently, unless he's number... No, he's not number 15. He is... Uh, he's been winning matches against The Undertaker. How is he not even on the list? It's a little weird, but uh, okay. Uh, we'll take it. We got AJ on there. Maybe it's because I switched his attire that maybe it doesn't count? I don't know. That's weird, right? Like, he's not on here? Gold Dust is on here. Apollo Crews. Has, have these guys even been on the show yet? That's weird. What's Velocity looking like? Is he over here? Shinsuke number one. All right. Aleister Black up there. That makes sense. A lot of these make sense. Jericho, I mean, I guess I would put him maybe more towards the top. He is the champion. Roman Reigns is up there. Xavier Woods making a making a name for us. Well, I guess Kofi and Biggie are up there too. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, okay, Christian Gani. All right, yeah. A lot of these make a lot of sense. This this list makes a little more sense. Rusev, the U.S. champion, he hasn't been doing too much lately, so he's he's falling down. Yeah, a lot of this makes sense. Dean has been. Uh, I forgot he's even on the show. Really. Uh, Ty just asked for his. It's okay now. Seth. Well, yeah, I guess he hasn't really won much. Batista hasn't done much. Luke Harper, 14. Pete Dunn. Oh, my God. I forgot some of these guys were even on Velocity. Lince Dorado. All right. Okay. Yeah, no, that list makes a little more sense than the than the main event one. All right. So here tonight, we've got AJ Styles versus Jason Jordan. We got some matches that we're going to be simulating through. Let's go ahead. Let's jump right into the show. Let's get a little bit of AJ Styles versus former NXT Tag Team Champion Jason Jordan. We are here at main event, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody is coming. Oh, there we go. There he is, the main event champion, the phenomenal one, the man that will take on Triple H, the leader of the NXT army. He's fighting for the WWE, never even stepped foot in NXT. He's defending that championship against Triple H this Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. At a, the, the episodes will be put up at a normal time, like, it just you, you gotta you gotta say you gotta say it right. It's like the pay per views happened on Sunday, Sunday, you know. Anyway, so the pay per view is coming up next week, guys. And AJ Styles defending his title against Triple H. Hit me with the intro, JoJo. That was one of the longest intros in the history of intros right there. AJ Styles, though, looking to prove himself here tonight against a, uh, a former NXT champion, not NXT champion, NXT tag team champion, uh, Jason Jordan here. An interesting pick uh, for the final week going into the pay-per-view. Uh, with the, with a former NXT talent here, as uh, as Triple H has invaded main event with the Undisputed Era, and they are calling themselves the NXT Army. Jason Jordan. Jason Jordan not showing any form of uh, NXT alliance here tonight. At least not so far as he makes his way to the ring. Uh, the first real chance Jason Jordan has had here on main event so far. He a big task in front of him though. But if he can beat the reigning champion, you gotta you gotta move the you gotta move you gotta you gotta assume that he's gonna be moving up the ranks 
here on main event. So this is a big opportunity for former NXT Tag Team Champion Jason Jordan. And only to be spoiled by this disgusting display of a human being, HHH, Triple H. Him and his NXT army looking to take the main event show from Vince McMahon, looking to take the WWE from Vince McMahon, and looking to turn it into a, quote, better product, as Triple H would say. Like one of those inter internet nerds that believe Triple H is superior. Paul Levesque is superior to Vincent Kennedy McMahon. A lot of you're so money signs in the crowd right now. I, I, I guess those are displayed at Triple H or I don't know what that's about. But here we go. AJ Styles, Jason Jordan. This should be a, a classic match. Jason Jordan, uh, one of the better wrestlers here on the roster, I would say. I mean, he's uh, he's pretty damn good. I wish uh, a little bit of real world talk here. I wish Jason Jordan <coughs> could come back. I don't think he's coming back. There's a lot of like mixed mixed signals going on, but he hurt his neck, I guess. And uh, you know, sometimes I read that Jason Jordan, man, he's gonna be coming back soon. And then I read, nah, he's uh, he's transitioning to just simply a backstage role. So. Uh, you know, as long as he finds work somewhere, you know, I'll be happy for him. But, you know, I, I can only imagine what it feels like to just be, right, you just start getting rolling. He was just getting rolling, too, man. He had that, that gimmick where he was Kurt Angle's son. Weird, I mean, a weird gimmick, but, I mean, it was getting over, I would say. You know, just starting to get over, too. And then he got, you know, he got hurt. He hurt his neck, broke it, whatever. I don't know. Maybe it was, you know, previous injury, but... Now he's not allowed to wrestle anymore. It's, you know, it's a real, it's a real crappy situation. But uh, nonetheless, let's focus here on Universe Mode. Triple H sitting ringside for this one, of course. Watching the action as he, he's, he's got a match, you know, he's got a match this Sunday against this man. He wants to see what AJ Styles is all about. He wants to see what AJ Styles can do. What, you know, what he wants to scout his his talent, his talent. He wants to scout his opponent this Sunday. And that makes perfect sense. What better way to, t to scout than to sit ringside? And Triple H has so much pull within the WWE. Uh, you know, he, he he's a shareholder. And that's what makes him uh, an authority. You know, some of you guys might be thinking, you know, Triple H is, is making this NXT invasion take place and why doesn't Vince McMahon just say, nah, you're fired? Because uh, because Triple H is a, is a shareholder, right? He's he's one of the he's one of the top shareholders for the WWE, and therefore he gets to make some decisions. If you go ahead and buy, you know, 54 million shares in in WWE, then maybe you can go on Monday Night Raw and make some decisions de decisions too. Decisions too. Jason Jordan with a pinfall there, one count, and AJ Styles gets up, and that's why Triple H is allowed to just come sit ringside. And getting the head of AJ Styles here tonight. As AJ Styles, man, he looks like he might be. Uh, it might looks like the, the 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 mind games of Triple H, cerebral assassin, cerebral. I just want to make that perfect. That, that's like mind games, right? Cerebral is is uh, of the mind or whatever. I don't know what cerebral actually means, but it's got to do something with the brain and something with the mind. And so far, I mean, Jason Jordan has been putting on a good showing here. I mean, that's not exactly to be expected. Jason Jordan's a good wrestler, former tag team champion. But, I mean, AJ Styles, it's AJ Styles. You expect him to, to, you know, really take Jason Jordan down and take him down quickly. And so far, you know, AJ's been uh, very light on his feet. and Not you know, very light on his feet, very heavy on his feet, I would say. And hasn't really gotten a lot of offense in on Jason Jordan. It's been mostly a Jason Jordan show. Is not well now, as I say that the calf crusher locked in here. Jason Jordan, referee. I mean, he is in perfect position. The referee is looking right at Jason Jordan. Although if that foot hits the rope, I mean, the referee might not see it. But Jason Jordan getting smart there, using the elbow to get out of that. Hits AJ in the back of the head though. That's I mean that could cause a concussion. The su the Sunday night pay per view main event. I don't know why I'm talking so weird today. Could be in jeopardy if AJ Styles has a concussion. You can't be wrestling with a concussion these days. You just can't be doing it. Jason Jordan going for a pin here, looking to take a win over the WWE Champion, the main event champion. One count again, and AJ kicks out yet again. Jason Jordan now picking AJ back up, scooping him up here. 
Going for maybe a power slam. No, he just drops the shoulder onto his knee. That's got to kill. A kick to the back, though. Here we go. Into the corner goes Jason Jordan. He goes down. Oh, it looks like he hurt his back. And now Triple H gaining the attention of AJ Styles. AJ going out after him. No, oh, this is not smart by AJ. Triple H looks hesitant, though. Oh, and now look at this. Oh, it's like these two had it planned. It's like these two had it planned all along. And look at that. Triple H cheering for his boy, Jason Jordan. Oh, disgusting display there. AJ, though, able to take advantage here. Jason Jordan not able to take full advantage of that distraction. Triple H walking off. Oh, and now here we go, though. Here we go. Triple H is in the head of Triple or, or Triple H is in the head of Triple H. Triple H is in the head of AJ Styles, and you can tell as Jason Jordan is just beating down the main event champion right here. Ringside. Oh wow. Big right hand there from AJ. That's gotta hurt. That's got that's gotta sting. That might have knocked out a couple of teeth. AJ though. Oh, it looks like he's setting up for the phenomenal four. No, okay. He went outside. Oh, and there we go. Okay, it looks like AJ is maybe setting up for the phenomenal forearm. There we go. Now he's calling for it. Now he's getting ready. Jason Jordan slowly getting up to his feet. He doesn't know where he is. There it is. Phenomenal forearm. Despite the distraction, AJ Styles is going to go home with the victory. One, two, and three. Jason Jordan put up one hell of a showing against main event champion AJ Styles. But AJ Styles, despite the distraction, victorious here tonight. Going into Clash of Champions this Sunday. Triple H, he's going to get to rest. Triple H is going to, he, he gets the night off. He gave himself the night off. He doesn't need to, uh, he doesn't need to wrestle tonight. He gets the night off. AJ Styles, not so lucky. Let's go ahead. Let's jump into some simulations. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get into some simulations. Jinder Mahal with the Singh Brothers against Elias. Elias losing there. Dolph Ziggler taking on a gold dust. Dolph Ziggler victorious there. And I've just gotten word that The Undertaker is, is, is backstage. He's just found Adam Cole. There is a referee there. A match has been started. Adam Cole versus The Undertaker backstage brawl. We have caught up backstage. The Undertaker has found Adam Cole. A referee is present. And now things are underway. The Undertaker attacking Adam Cole here backstage. Maybe a referee is not present. I, I, was, I was told a referee was present, but The Undertaker beating down Adam Cole. He, he must be furious after weeks of losing to Adam Cole due to outside interference. He finds Adam Cole surprisingly all by himself in the backstage area. And now he is beating. Well, now he's taking. Oh, my God. Adam Cole just tossing the Undertaker into those storage bins, into the wall there. Those are metal bins, cinder block walls. That does not feel good for the Undertaker, especially with his old body. You know what I'm saying? Oh, now the Undertaker throwing Adam Cole head first into that storage bin. Slams him down into the concrete floor there. I didn't know what that was called for a second. I couldn't think of the word floor for a second there. And now he's dragging Adam Cole along here. Throwing him towards, it looks like maybe Triple H's office there. Oh, God, could you imagine? Oh, no, he's going right for trip. Oh, okay, he's not going for Triple H's office. Never mind. Oh, where is he taking him, though? Looks like The Undertaker has a plan here. He's got an objective. He's got something going on, something in his mind. Dean Ambrose conducting an interview scene. Maybe it looks like he might just be talking to Renee Young. They're in the background security. Right here watching the part. Oh, damn, and now The Undertaker goes down. Adam Cole, big neck breaker right there. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. This is this is getting dirty in a hurry. There's a chair laying right there. Adam Cole looks like he's going for it. The security running away. The security is scared of the dead man. The Undertaker. And Adam Cole here. 
These two are really just, uh, you know, I mean, they kind of stopped fighting. They're more just dragging each other around. We are in the parking lot area there. You can see Vince McMahon's limousine. That might be Triple H's limousine. You, you never really know. You get the security room. Oh, the Undertaker tumbling into that, that again, another storage bin. A lot of storage bins used here. Those bins are used to, you know, carry certain things like the ring aprons, the ring ropes, you know, certain things for catering. I, I you know, I did just... A whole lot of different things that need to be used here in the arena is now the Undertaker fighting right outside the security room, right by the ice. Ooh, big kick to the back there by Adam Cole. I'm not sure. I have, I have not seen a referee. I'm not sure that this is even a, a, a legitimate match, but the, the crowd is eating it up. The crowd is able to see every last bit. Oh, my God. Another neck breaker onto the concrete. The Undertaker's going to be feeling that. These two are going to go at it Sunday. Neither man is going to be 100%. You can believe that after this fight. The North American title will be on the line. Both men will be will be wrestling at a 50%. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. It looked like The Undertaker was planning to, to put Adam Cole's face through that limousine window. And now Adam Cole, oh, my God. I thought he was going to put The Undertaker through the limousine window. Adam Cole telling The Undertaker, get up. Getting eerily close to that, that forklift there. That high-low. That uppity-downsy. I don't know what you, what you might call it. Oh, throws him into the... Back of the limousine. I don't know if you guys have ever run into a limousine before. I haven't, but I've, you know, I've been thrown into a couple of cars in my day. Playing a little bit of street hockey. Doesn't feel good, I'll tell you that much. Undertaker just now beaten down. He is he is now taking advantage of this backstage situation. He is taking complete control. Is now he's gonna choke slam. Oh no 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 no! Oh my god! Oh my god! I can feel that in my back. I can feel that one in my back. Oh, my God. That's got to hurt. Now he's going to pile drive. He's going to put the head. Oh, my God. Adam Cole's got to be dead. He's got to be dead. He just drove his head into the concrete. The Undertaker. He, what, he, what just happened? The Undertaker found Adam Cole backstage and just beat the living hell out of him. Adam Cole put up a, put up one hell of a fight, but I, I, in the end, I, I got to wonder if Adam Cole's even going to be able to, A, wrestle Sunday, and B, wrestle ever again after that beatdown. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. All right, let's, let's bring it back down, guys. We, let's get back into our simulations now. We got a couple more simulations, and then the episode is over. So let's go ahead. Let's finish up our simulations. Here we go. Roderick Strong, one part of uh, the Undisputed Era, going up against Rey Mysterio here tonight. Rey Mysterio victorious there. And, of course, this matchup has been going for quite some time here. Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Matt Hardy, and Jeff Hardy. Uh, the two tag teams, of course, uh... Matt and Jeff, veterans here in the WWE. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, not quite sure if they're part of the NXT army, but they are NXT alumni, so they are the tag team champions, and they beat the Hardy Boys right there. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Universe Mode. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. Make sure to head over to teespring.com slash stores slash Jobber Nation to get your Jobber Nation t-shirts if you haven't already. And if you have, go ahead and buy another one. This has been your boy, Jobber Nation. Bye.